kakariki i tua piki te mea atiki a koutou. Kua ato te teo nga mema parema te hoi anō, tōku mahi i tēnei rangi, te kaukau e pēke, o mārata Davidson i tēnei rangi. Ki te hara mai ki te tautoko o te ia o te kaupapa, te mano o te kōrero, kia whakakio mā tēnei kete o tēnei me te te rapuna pakaro i te roti i nga neke neke hanga i tō tātou nei ao mau. Nō reira, koutou te pai pai, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Tau tōku katoa e ki nga manako e te pōra pitu shei. Ko te mea nui, mena kai a koe, era kaori, era kaos, ko te mea nui, ka pipiro, tikiti rokou koe, tēnā pia ka hai koe, te hoko tarau mō hai. Ia ue whakarunga ane ki nga kōrera mo te bus, me ona wheels that go round and round and round, ka pupu ake e te whakaro o tēnei o nga kākariki. If the wheels of the bus go round and round and round, ko te mea nui, they're electric and they're low emissions. I te mea ko tērā te harama nui, kia tātou katoa. I'm on brand today, fellas. Hoi anō. I a mātou nga kākariki i kaha tautoko mātou i nga pukaro o tēnei iwi morehe. E nga kai nui ana me pehe tata kia ko tahi ai ki te hāpai atu te hunga rawa kore, te hunga noho pani ana, te hunga mā uiwi. Anai anō nga whakataingo o te kōrupiti o te māngai. Nga me ko kere hia e mātou ki roti o mātou nga kai whakahere nō reira. Hara mai mātou nga tautoko. Te wā tau tahi Iai ki o mātou nei hitori, te wā tūtai i tai mai mātou i taua wā ki raro te maru o materia tūrei, te me, i tono mai tētahi kia mātou me te mea tūha, i pānu i hea nga tāka pēri me te kaurake. Tēnā pēhe o rikitanga ki roti nga kōrero o koutou kia mātou, nō rari i tai mai e te whakarongo, te whakarongo ki nga kōrero, nō rari, te te mea tūtina hitori i whare ki hea mai e koutou, i wanganu i a mātou i tēnei wā, ko te mea nui kia hapai tē ki roti te tēnei au hori hori rei. Ki roti i nga ākutanga o te wā. Me me a tēau, ki te mano mano wahi, ki te mano o te wahi. I hoki atu nga mahara i te tai whakāhu ai noho ana takere whakāro ki te te ruma mo te piti whiritapu Māori i reira iriaka. Kuia, kuia te tahi mano wahi nei, yaki mai tēnei o nga wā. Kuia anō i para te huarahi kia whai, nga wahi nei kato, kia tui ki te roti te parema ki te roa te hapai a tātou kato. Nga era, me mehia ki tēnei ahota, me mehia ana ki tērā kauira nāko. E tauira, e kaha, me kaha tātou te tiro i e te roti nga ahotanga o te wā. Nga ahotanga o te wā, i te wā, te me, kei rotu i tō mātou nei pāti, ki te mano te wahi nei te me nui. Te āhua, piti o piti te kau, pahi nei tō mātou te wahi. Ko rātou anō i hāpai atu nga ahua tango ki wā noa era. E nga māma, nga whaia keke, nga kuia, nga tamangine, nga e, tēnā, tēnā i nga mātou nga kākariki e me kana te whaitau katoa. Noa era, e te pirimia, te sinta kukui tēnā. Noa era, e me kana tēnā i kia kui, e me kana tēnā i kia kui, E mihi ana ki tō whānau, e mihi ana ki nga taupaka tāna i tika ki atu, e koe ki roti nga tau ipo, e ki roti nga tau e wini. Tātou nei i a mātai i tina tātareki ki te tau maha, i ki te mātai te ua ua. Nō reira, ka te mihi atu ki atu, te mano tō nui ki whai hara rei koe, ki a hari tonu tēnei rei mātou mōhau, me tō whānau. Nō reira, tēnā koe. Well, since everybody else has been speaking in English, I might as well give it a go too. Um, I just wanted to say, um, on behalf of the Greens, uh, uh, Prime Minister Jacinda, um, thank you very much. Uh, we are, it, it, the, the burden that you carried over the, five, uh, over the last five and a half years, everybody has spoken to that, and that is something that we all, we all appreciate as well. Not easy, the ups and the downs, and uh, we had what happened in Christchurch, the tragedy that happened here, and then, your guidance through what happened uh, through, the, through COVID, continues to happen through COVID as well. Uh, but I do want to touch on one thing, and I think it was said this morning as well, and that was, do uh, uh, women politicians experience uh, abuse, online abuse, more than men? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. 
We have a massive problems with toxic masculinity and, mas um, and, and mas um, fragile masculinity within this country, within the world, and that has been proliferated by uh, the algorithm and social media platforms. No era ke mahi nui tērā kia tātou katoa, yaue i waho i tēti kororai kia Minister Jane Tineri i tērei o nga hapu tanga me whakariki tātou te algo. Kare te mohio me pēnā na te tau i rā kia tātou katoa i rari, ki rotu i te ki rotu i te noho haumare ki te kāinga e tai o tātou nei whānau, kare rātou te whakapono ki nga kōrero ki te mei, tako wiri wiri rātou ki rotu te rua rātou, tako wiri wiri rātou ki rotu te rua rātou, Kaharati ki te whakaroo ki ngā puruheti nō wahi ki atu, nā rikari ki o rata nei whānau. Nō aira, tērā te mahi koa inga nui e i mui a tātou i tēnei wā. Nō aira, tātou katoa kia kaha, kia kaha, kia kaha te kororo, kanoi ki te kanoi, i tau ira mai o tātou nei mātua tīpuna. We've got to get back to having that face to face, and not just our Facebooks whānau. Nō aira, tērā katoa kia tātou. Te pirimi a hau, kei te hara mai, tēnei te mihi atu kia koe. ああ、これだけはな、別に別にだろうね。メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセージ、メッセ
Hari dah mihya cipta. Cukupnya ngam mihya kiri. Koyat di tua tak. Tua rua. Itu kama ekaroa e rahu ekaroa ko jana. Mote kino nga por kio tatu mahi. Nah, kita tu hehe kau ni kita reo pakai aje tu no mahu maya pun. Rahui and Jano are correct in terms of the uh, attacks and the misogyny that's going on towards our women. And it's my challenge to all of us Tane here, every single one of us, Kurironi Timurai, that we shouldn't leave it for our women to have to defend themselves and it is time for us to stand up and to defend their people and to protect them. And I'm talking about our wives and partners, our mothers, our daughters, our granddaughters, our nieces. It's our job, and our friends and our colleagues. It's our job to do something about it and not leave things to our women to have to protect themselves. So I'm saying That's the second. Uh, thirdly, this it's getting out of hand, this scary thing, and we know what mahi ngātahi means. It's easy, and I don't know why people are afraid of working together and cooperating. That's really all it is. Just finally, uh, you know, as we, we go around in our jobs as politicians, recipients, Papa Chipe, Rauke Aitimoyo. We call him Chippy, and um, and, Chippy, and Chris Chippy is the sort of guy who's comfortable with that. There's no ears and graces. He is a man of the people. And we're very happy and proud to be here uh, to support him and Carmel. And just one, if we're talking about names, there, there is a funny story that we like to tease Carmel about, and it was when she was a new MP, and the speaker at the time was Lockwood Smith. And of course, Carbell Sepuluni must be a bit of a hard name for some people to get their, their, name, uh, their minds around and their tongues around. And Carmel took a call in the House. She stood up, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker uh, said, I call Sepul Carmeloni. <laughs> and we haven't let her live it down. So Deputy Prime Minister Sepul uh, we're very proud to have her as our first uh, Pacifica Deputy Prime Minister, and we're all right behind her. Uh, that's the Māori caucus, that's the full caucus, and behind Chippu. So, e tātou mā, hore koutaku wai ati te mea, ko tāku mahi hei whakatūwhera i te kuaha mō Papa Tipe, kia haere mai māna e kore. Kia ora Chippu, kore. Karoria, Hariruya, Kia Ihoa, Matua, Tama, Wairua Tapu, Mina Anahira Pono, Mate Mangai, Kitatoko Mai, Anoine, Akine, Ai. Tena Koto Katoa. It's a great honour and a privilege to be here. Uh, in my first visit to Ratana as the incoming leader of the New Zealand Labour Party uh, and Prime Minister of New Zealand. But it is not my first visit here to Ratana. I've been coming here for nearly 20 years now. I first visited here in 2004 alongside my friends in the Labour Party with the Right Honourable Helen Clark when she was the Prime Minister of New Zealand. 
Uh, I have come here most years since then, not to speak, but to listen and to be part of this celebration. And I've heard many speeches and many stories during that time. And one of the ones that has stuck out for me has been uh, the story of T.W. Ratana's first visit to our first Labour Prime Minister, Michael Joseph Savage. And I have heard of the four items that Ratana presented to Savage because they have characterised the relationship between Ratana and the Ratana movement and the New Zealand Labour Party ever since. He presented him with three huia feathers to represent the Māori people. He presented him with a potato to represent the land that had been taken and the inability of people to grow crops. He presented to him a honamu hitiki to represent the mana that had been taken. Uh, and he presented to him famously that broken gold watch to represent the promises that had been broken. Such was that moment of significance for Savage that it is uh, said that many of those items were buried with him when he died because of the impact that that had had on him, an impact that has characterised the relationship that has existed since then. In 2004, not that I knew it at the time during my first visit here to Ratana, we had a little bit of turbulence ahead of us uh, in the coming years. But through thick and thin, through ups and downs, we have come back every year and we have renewed our relationship and we will continue to do that. We have done that with the Right Honourable Jacinda Ardern as our Prime Minister. Jacinda has implored us all, non maori New Zealanders, to walk across the bridge, to stand in the shoes of our tangata whenua, not to meet on our terms, but to meet on yours. And I can give you an undertaking that we will continue to do that. And it is an honour to be able to be here today uh, and to do that. Yep. Throughout our special relationship, many special ratana people have occupied a place in our Labour team. Uh, and that continues to be the case today. I want to acknowledge Renal Chirikartney. He's a rock for our team. I want to acknowledge Kitty Tapu Allen, a rising star within the Labour movement who I know you're going to hear a lot more of. I want to acknowledge Soraya Peaky Mason, our newest member of the team, and say thank you to you. But there is one in particular that I want to particularly acknowledge today. At Parliament, he's actually my boss, and that's Adrian Rudafe the Speaker of New Zealand's House of Representatives. Adrian has brought a mana and a dignity to the role of Speaker. When he speaks, we listen. And I've learned that when he speaks quietly, we should listen more. Adrian, thank you for all that you do for our Parliament, for all that you are, and thank you so much uh, for being a member of our team. We really value you. Much has been made in the last few days about the fact that I'm a boy from the hut. And I wanted to share a few reflections about that with you all, about who I am, given that this is my first opportunity to speak here at Platina. I grew up in the uh, lower hut suburb of Waterloo, not too many blocks away from the Waifatu Marae. I was an adult before I entered the Waikato Marae for the first time. As a child in New Zealand in the 1980s and the 1990s, the Marae was a place of mystery for me. Te Reo Māori was not spoken in schools, and nor did we learn about our own local history. I learned more at school about Tudor England than I did about Te Whiti Park that was just down the road from me. I'm pleased to say that as a government, we have made the commitment that every child in every New Zealand school will learn New Zealand history and will learn about their local community. Because Te Whiti Park was a really important part of my upbringing. 
Not because of who it was named after, but what it represented to us and what it's represented in my own journey of my understanding of the relationship between Māori and non-Māori in New Zealand. I used to play sport there on a Saturday morning with my brother. 1980s, 90s New Zealand was a time when treaty settlements were a point of significant debate in non-Māori New Zealand. And Te Whiti Park and the future of the park was the subject of some of that debate. And we were led to, be led to wonder as children whether if the park became part of a treaty settlement we would still play sport there on a Saturday morning. I can tell you that Te Whiti Park has been part of a co-governance arrangement for a long time now. The Waifatu stream that runs alongside it has been restored. The facilities at the park are better than they ever have been and every Saturday morning more young New Zealanders of all ethnicities play sport there than ever before. And I have learned during that time that when it comes to the relationship between Māori and non-Māori, there has often been too much uncertainty and too much misunderstanding. In an environment of misunderstanding and uncertainty, it is easy for fear to be cultivated. As political leaders, we have two options when faced with that. We can seek to exploit that fear for political advantage, or we can seek to eliminate it. Māori, non-Māori, we are all in this together, he waka eke noa. We are all on the waka together. Some are paddling faster than others, and sometimes we need to take a moment so that everybody can catch up. And when we need to do that, we should. But we should never allow our relationship to be characterised by fear. So I want to restate the Labour Party's commitment to you that as long as we are here, and as long as we are the government, we will seek to bring New Zealanders together. We will seek to move forward as a country in a spirit of unity. And I look forward to returning here as often as I can, not just once a year, but more often if that chance arises. You'll note that my Te Reo Māori needs a little bit of work. I didn't get the opportunity to learn Māori when I was at school, so I'm going to leave you with one final commitment. As long as I have the great privilege of this leadership role, I will be here every year and you will see my Te Reo Māori improve. Because I will keep practising. It's been on my to-do list for a long time and it's just made it to the top. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa.
It was not my intention to speak today, but you weren't having a bar of it. I was quite happy to leave today's words to the incoming Prime Minister of Aotearoa New Zealand, Chris Hipkins. And what beautiful words they were. Exactly what I think we all needed to hear today, my friend Chippy. <laughs> so I will be brief today. Firstly, I just wanted to acknowledge how important it is uh, for me to be here amongst mana whenua, but particularly it feels special to be here with my whanau from Ngāti Haua. I thought I was being beautifully composed until I clocked Te Ao Mara Ranaka. Te Ao Mara Ranaka. You're so special to me to see you here today, it's wonderful. It also feels special and symbolic to be here at Ratana and for this to be officially my last event as the Prime Minister of New Zealand. It's special for a couple of reasons. Firstly, if you're going to leave, I say leave with a brass band. And if you're going to leave with a brass band, leave with a brass band from Ratana. It also feels special to be here with my colleagues. I can say, hand on heart, this is a group of exceptional people who have the privilege of leading New Zealand. I never did this job alone. I did it alongside these wonderful servants to New Zealand. And I leave knowing that you are in the best of hands. I pay particular attention and special mention to Chris Hipkins and Carmel Cipollone. I've known them for many years, particularly Chris, going on 20 at last count. And Calvin Davis is right. You knew me as auntie. I hope you know him as Chippy. Because it speaks to who he is as a person. Personable, down to earth, practical and good with tools. <laughs> Chippy, you're a colleague and friend to us all, but I know you'll be a wonderful Prime Minister, and people have heard that here today. It's especially wonderful to sit alongside so many colleagues who have special connection to Rathna. And I've had the opportunity to do that over the years as well. This was one of the first places I came when I announced that I was having a baby. And it was with some trepidation that I shared that news with New Zealand, but when I came here, you greeted me with the wonderful gift of the first name to be offered to Clark and I, Waru. Now, whilst we did not take that name, I hope you knew that when we chose Te Araha, that felt like it also was emblematic of the love that we felt here and around New Zealand when we had Neve Te Araha. So thank you. I also leave knowing that you have eight harakeke that on one of my visits were left here and so in a way you have a small piece of me. But as leader of the Labour Party I only carried the baton for a time. The relationship between Ratana and Labour is much deeper than individuals and it will carry and continue and be strengthened. My final departing thoughts. There's been a little bit of discussion since I made my announcement about my resignation. You've heard a little bit of it here today. For my part, I want you to know 
that my overwhelming experience in this job of New Zealand and New Zealanders has been one of love, empathy, and kindness. That is what the majority of New Zealand has shown to me. And I want you to know that I leave with a greater love and affection for Aotearoa New Zealand and its people than when I started. And I didn't think that was possible. So my final words are this. Nā mihi nui ki a koutou katoa. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the greatest privilege of my life. ケアクエテプリミアエトチクナコレレキモアヤタタイキロナノキトタカネモラヤクロガチラマイモアケアナライトカイナケアイレマイラコンテイテイネイタハモテオハカチクファカモイメチキアイホガマノマナホキエファ
Faya <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.